Welcome to Storytime. My name is Christy. Today we're going to be learning about something I like very much and that I've been learning a lot more about, and that is ballet. So today, the story that we're going to be reading is called Boy's Dance by John Robert Allman. But before we get to the story, I'm going to teach you guys the five positions of ballet. Okay. There are five positions in ballet. For each position, there's a foot and leg position and an arm position. So I'm going to show you guys both. So we've got first position, tendu, second position, tendu, third position, tendu, Fourth position. Tendu. Fifth position. Okay, and this is a little bit closer look at the feet if you want to get another look. I hope that you guys enjoyed learning the tiny basics of ballet, and maybe you'll go on to learn a lot more about it. Okay, I'll see you over back next story corner. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so on to our story. Boys Dance by John Robert Allman. Shorts and socks and shoes on tight. You're set to dance with all your might. Prepare to step and spin and sway as you begin to learn ballet. Come on. Like each brilliant ballet star, you'll start with stretches at the bar. This is the bar. You guys see that? Watch the teacher show and tell before you turn to try as well. There they are. Then as music starts to play, plie, 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 plie. Holding on so you'll stay steady. Don't let go until you're ready. Those are, the boys are plieing. Plie means to bend, so they're bending their knees. You're an athlete and your mission, mastering the five positions. And look, that's what we just learned. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Muscles warm so you're not sore. It's time to move on to the floor. So in ballet class, you start at the bar, which they were at before, and then you move out into the center. Training hard, you'll break a sweat while you rehearse your pirouette. That's what he's doing. That's, he's about to spin around. That's a pirouette. Polishing a tour en l'air, turn with feeling, land with flair. There they are. Leap across the studio with perfect posture like a pro. Look at them leaping. Let these leading men inspire as you practice and perspire. You guys know what perspire means? To sweat. Growing stronger day by day. Dreams of parts that you might play. And these are some famous dancers behind these little boys. There's Herman Cornejo, and David Hallberg, and James Whiteside, and Calvin Royale. Princes, pirates, villains, too. Slay the Mouse King in a coup. <gasps> what do you 
Look at all of the different parts and people that you can pretend to be when you're a ballet dancer. It's pretty cool. Lifting fo fellow dancers high means staying sturdy, strong, and spry. Look how strong those dancers have to be to be able to lift up the other dancers. Beyond ballet, add your pizzazz to modern hip hop, tap, or jazz. There's many different kinds of dance in the world. And here's some other examples of other dancers. There's Savion Glover, he's a tap dancer. There's Mr. Paul Taylor, Mr. Bob Fosse, Mr. Gregory Hines, and Mr. Gene Kelly. With dancing skills, you're sure to soar in sports, at school, and so much more. So look at all these little guys. First, they were in ballet class, and now look at all the other things they're doing. This guy is playing a violin. This little boy is reading a book, skateboarding, playing basketball. Whatever passions you pursue, what matters most is being you. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I hope you guys learned enjoying some ballet moves. And we'll see you next time. Happy story time. Bye-bye.